Apparently, some of you out there think I need a sense of humor. Akasan's honest reactions, Akasan, and it's so funny that this came out. The reactors challenge. Try not to laugh. It's so funny that this came out, and I say this because I've been thinking the last couple of weeks or so. To what to include, what new to include on the channel to react to, uh, trailers aside, I was thinking about this and I saw that uh, Captain America, our Captain America, Gator Martin, was doing like the best of vines and the um, try not to laugh type of stuff. And, you know, I, I, he's been doing it for a while and I noticed that it's quite popular and I, I was thinking about doing that. I thought maybe I would do it as well. But I didn't want to really kind of infringe on his thing. And then, then I saw Tyrone did it. It does it also. So I was like, okay, maybe it's just not that big of a deal. So I was thinking maybe I'll do the best of vines. I don't know. But I, I just don't know how you would react to something like that. I guess you just got to let it be all natural, right? But nevertheless, there's something else I wanted to do, which was the um, like try not to laugh challenge. Things like that. And I tested it out last night. Um... It didn't really, they weren't, there really weren't good videos. I went for the lower view videos just to test out. They weren't that good. So maybe I need you guys to uh, suggest uh, some links to try. On top of that, though, here we go. Michael Williams put out the Reactors Challenge, Try Not to Laugh, and it must be a blessing. But, you know me. I don't like to just do things just like everybody else. So, that being said, because, you know, in Japan, they have, like, a thing where uh, there's a very famous, famous TV show where if you laugh, you get punished and shit. Now, I'm going to do it my way with a little bit of Suntory whiskey. I don't know how much of a challenge, uh, how much of a punishment it's going to be, but I was just going to take a... This is a pretty good amount, right? about this much each time because it's nine minutes okay I'm not a pussy but it's fucking nine minutes so if I'm laughing I gotta keep on pouring this is a lot yeah this is a big ass shot okay so um in, in, in some sense right I guess now this is actually a really big shot glass a bit, I think it's much bigger than your average shot glass but anyways Let's do it every time I laugh. Here's my rule. Smiling's okay. Um, I, I think we're going to have to go with full-blown like, ha, 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 Okay? That's my challenge. I think. Is that the rule? Yeah. Try not to laugh for any reactor and try not to laugh. Okay, so I have to make an audible laugh, okay? Smiling's okay, but you can't laugh. Alright, I'm ready. And every time I laugh, I take a shot. <sighs> okay. I need to think of the saddest thing ever. Man of Steel. Okay, I'm ready. Hey, I'm an innocent bystander. They saying I drove a getaway car, but I cannot see. I'm legally blind. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. I'm innocent. Sir, you want to are you from Houston? Man, I'm from Port Arthur, Texas, and I'm a female. I did not drive. I thought so. I, I knew that was a female. How'd you get wrapped up with these folks? I was, I got wrapped up. I was walking down the street and I caught a ride. So you, you don't know these folks then, is what you're saying? How do they not know that that's a guy, a girl, a woman? That's ridiculous. But I'm legally blind, so how I'm going to drive a car? So did you know what happened to the 73-year-old victim then? I don't know what happened. I just know what the police said. So you can't see at all? Huh? You can see though, right? Yeah, I can see. Okay, well, you're not legally blind. You can't see either. You can't see either. Well, I can see. 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 I ain't do nothing. I don't know what's going on. All I know is my side of the story. I can't tell no other story. I'm innocent. And mama, I love you. P.O.P. I'm gonna die. Right these are good people's for life. But when lockup visited Kentucky State Penitentiary, we met Fleece Johnson, a longtime inmate 
who practices a very different kind of homosexuality. But we have ah, the booty warrior, right? So you got a bunch of men locked up at one place. All of them get hard. All of them's horned. All of them got sexual desires. So what are they going to do? We won't let them have a woman. He looks like they one of my friends, decide. actually. We'll have to give us some booty. And it ain't just that simple. <laughs> the most uh, memorable story that Fleece told us was about the place and importance that booty has in a maximum security penitentiary. And he went on about it and on about it. In his prison, booty. Booty was uh, more important than food. Booty, a man's butt. It was more important. I'm sorry. It was more booty, having some booty. to tell our crew how we used to sense mm. sexual desires especially during the 1970s and 80s that shouldn't even when he count. was most active Fuck. and prison security was more lax loading God, I should have loaded this one early on damn it oh my chest is burning it burns oh, oh I'm dying I'm dying I'm dying P.O.P. I love you now I got that song stuck in my head. Mama, I love you. Da, 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 da. Damn it. I made myself laugh at that shit. God damn it. And it's <laughs> broken. Like, trying to load right now. Ah, internet. Don't fail me now. Why is this one taking so long? Maybe because it's not a pop... Uh, I don't know. Alright, we're back. He's in 80s when he was most active and prison security was more lax. When I see one, and he looks good to me, when I go see him, I say, you come here. I say, I'm telling you what, uh, now I like you, now I want you. And uh, uh, we can do it the easy way out of the hallway. So the choice is yours, man. And it was always yes. Johnson also had a warning for the new generation of inmates. They might be asking for trouble from old timers. You know, they got this thing where they say their pants. Pants they butt. This is true. It's a style. They call it some sort of gangster style. And you know, it's sexy to us, right? And see, but they weren't prepared for this, right? So you say your pants in her, man, somebody be up in your butt. You know, and it's just That's real so true. Johnson even let the lockup crew know that when he was in his prime, they wouldn't be safe from his advances either. If y'all had been in her back then in them days, and as much as I like booty, I probably felt one of y'all butts. And y'all would walk and pass me. And dare you to say something. I'm not no shame in my game. This is nothing that I'm ashamed to admit. I am what I am. I'm a warrior too, you know, so Booty Warrior. Let that be no, I'm a warrior. Or it had been a mixed morning. But James Lewis was hoping to keep things moving in the right direction. I'm 22 years old, and I'm a tour guy here in the city of brotherly love. My favorite part about being a tour guy is interacting with the people. Alright, let's go, folks. I was really encouraged to come down and audition by my co-workers. So it's thanks to them that I'm here. Man, but Boston is seriously racist, though. And Parts of it. New, On both sides. Kind of sounds like, uh, I can't, I can't fuck with Boston. Or maybe Eddie Vedder. <sighs> Lakers, maybe, that's why. Purple and gold. Yes, I am. He's got a weird neck. Can you sing? Yes, I can. And what do you sing today? I'm going to sing Go Down Moses. Go Down Moses. When Israel was in Egypt's land, let my people go. Oppressed oh, so hard, they could not stand. Let my people go. Go down, Moses, down Egypt's land, and say, 
This is not your thing, man. Trust me, man. Trust me, man. We, we wouldn't lead you down the wrong alley, man. It's idols doing your favor, dog. It's not and your And forgive us for laughing. Man. Yeah, please, please forgive us for that, man. Okay. Thanks for coming out, though, dog. Thanks for coming out. Take care of yourself, man. As the judge. What if he starts crying? And James plans his next move. Nah, I'm gonna come try out again next year. I'll have more contemporary songs. I won't do any, like, older Christian songs. We're going to take another break. Damn. It's like, get the fuck out of my way. I'm trying to tap. It's one of those nights tonight. Turtle probably like, what? Yeah, not even. Who's got the camera all up in the face though? Turtle power. That uh, throat looks like a vagina though. For reals. I'm being real with you because I heard about you. I was waiting on you at the dog. Okay, well then you want to take it as a compliment. Oh, Michael, Michael, Michael. You got to work a little bit harder to get me for this. But nice try, nice try. And if I didn't mess up earlier on and laugh, this all would have been my... Fuck it, I'm gonna drink it anyways. On my next reaction video. Shit. Oh well. Okay, well, you, you did your best. Maybe the other reactors... Other reactors might fall further than myself. But you gotta come pretty hard at it. Hard at it to get me to laugh. Because all my life, there's nothing but misery. When my parents were killed, I adapted the shadows. Uh, woo! Anyways, if you guys have any suggestions of, um, I really want to get, uh, more Vine. Like, I want to, ah, I remember. It was the celebrity mean tweet things, um, that I was watching that it got me, inspired me to really get into maybe some of the Vine stuff. So if you guys have some suggestions, uh, of what I should watch, let me know. Then I think that'd be pretty cool. Oh well. Well, nice try, Michael. I'm looking forward to your next uh, compilation. Uh, there's a certain I know exactly what makes me laugh. Dark humor type stuff. So 
Um, that's the stuff that gets me, but don't use that as a cheat code, because you never know. <sighs> Alright, that's it, guys. Until the Batman vs. Superman trailer comes out, I shall uh, smell this shot of whiskey and keep my reactions honest. Oh!